What's up, y'all? Smart here on the Game Side channel, doing another Ruby Theory. I'm joined here with Hank. Say hi, Hank. Hi. And this one's about. It's not really a. Th I guess you could call it a theory, but it, we're going to be covering over the fighting styles of Team Ruby. We're going to be doing one of every person, and hopefully that we can, but I think we just need to stick right now for first time Team Ruby because. Well, they're the main, they're the main characters. So, just in general, what Team Ruby how it's done, their attacks are built upon each other. The ability, like Snowburn, if you remember the mech um, battle with Ronin, the Rice Rice just covered the place in snow and uh, Yang punched it. Uh, Yang is a wild card, basically. Uh, Ruby, Weiss, and Blake, they all um, they can. They're more of the people who will group together, and then Yang will go out and be punching everything. You can see this also in the mech battle with Ronin, and they also work better well together, because when they were fighting the group of uh, wolves in Mountain Glen, they weren't, at, well, Bay Wolves, they weren't as well coordinated. They weren't as good of fighters as they were when they were fighting uh, together. Ruby Rose, starting with her, her, she fights in a circular motion like uh, medieval India. Instead of Kutars, I believe that's what you call them, uh, she uses a giant scythe, which is awesome. She yeah. uses kinetic energy to uh, buff her attacks because, it, look, it, she, she's a 5'2 scrawny little girl. She, can, she ain't going to be able to swing that thing without some help of kinetic energy. Uh, she uses her semblances in quick bursts. Uh, you can see it. She can't. I believe she cannot use her semblance in a long duration, because when she was escaping Ronin uh, down Mountain Glen uh, on, on the caves, when she was captured, she was only able to use a short burst and continue running like normal. And she has no need for dust. And Hank will explain why. Um, you see, when she does uses her gun, um, that one she has bullets on her body, um, on the side, and you can see her changing out bullets and not dust like crystals and you can see um, the shells from the bullets come out of her gun after she uses it. I also want to uh, include that uh, for somebody's been comment saying but the way dust or the bolt of fire is through dust I doubt that because if they got mechs like mechs and automated robots I think they know how to use gunpowder yeah. Which m might be a form of dust, maybe, but th that's just yet to be found. I think it's gun this gunpowder that such fires the bullets. And also, since um, they did find her in the dust shop at one point, I don't think she was there to actually find dust. She or maybe like something comics. for Yang. I think she was opening the comics when she did that. Yeah. So, why Snee? She relies heavily on her semblances. If she, and almost every fight she has done, she always uses her semblance. She's more of a support role, unlike this is her trailer, but it's, it's, you very rarely see her fight like this. Uh, her, she really is more for buffing out her teammates. Um, example, Snowburn. Uh, if you see the same fight, she gave uh, Blake a little, like, mech. Not a mech, like a speed boost. Like with the what looks like clockwork underneath her. Yeah. Uh, she's an in and out type fighter because you see right there, she uh, hits a couple times, backs up, uh, he swings, uh, she runs away and then sta stabs a couple more times. And she's greatly reliant on dust. Uh, like almost her entire fighting style, it, uh, it revolves around uh, what type of dust she's using. And she's a snee. With sneeze. Even with, uh, I'll get to uh, Winter later, but even with Winter, you can see her use dust. Blake Belladonna. Heavily reliant on her semblance. Also, this is because she's a shadow fighter. If y'all, a uh, shadow fighter is more like, uh, I, want, I don't want to use the word ninja, but, uh, and ninjas would love, if I remember that little Easter egg. Um, but the, uh, her fighting style, she's more illusion type fighting she, because that's where her semblance is like that they make uh, they go for the illusion and the seek tax back so she's a shadow fighter she makes quick cuts but these cuts aren't light these are some deep cuts you see this she cut through two robots in half those aren't so, those are quick but ain't, it ain't a little it ain't some little tiny cuts 
Uh, she has a slight need for dust because unlike Ruby, her um, her bullets are the crystals. You see uh, uh, Weiss handing her a clip of crystals and for her bullets. The mm -hmm. Yang Zhao Long, one the I personally think one of the funniest people in Ruby. She's a very playful fighter, except for when you touch the hair. Yeah. yeah. Um. You want to say uh, about the hair? Yeah. Um. You can see it. I think when she was fighting, I think you can see it in her uh, trailer when she was fighting that guy and she was being all playful and everything. And then as soon as she touch, um, you've seen it multiple times where as soon as they touch her hair, she goes all Super Saiyan on them and just punches and just gets a lot stronger every time she gets hit, hit, especially in her hair. This goes on to our next part where she only uses her semblance in a serious fight or when he touches the hair. Just, just whatever you do. If you ever see, if Yang ever came to the real, wo real world and you had to fight her, don't touch the hair. Don't <laughs> touch the hair. <laughs> She is a freaking brute, and I kid you not, she is. Because look, do you see how big this bear is? Or uh, what's the name of this animal? I can't remember. She hmm. punches this bear-like creature, who is, I, th I think, like 200 to 300 pounds, through a tree, which is about, looked like four feet in diameter, uh, just, and shatters the tree using the bear, just seriously. Her, she uses a little dust. I think it's like a mixture of Blake's bullets and and her sister Ruby's bullets, because her it looks like the bullets are infused with dust, especially with her uh, with this type of punch, was like a shotgun type punch. And then her flares, all her uh, long range bullets are also uh, look like they're infused with dust. And we do have to give thanks to uh, people who we use the pictures from. And the fire made the uh, from DeviantArt made the uh, shield team Ruby drawn for the second slice made by Venix on DeviantArt Ruby Wiki. We got some info from there, and then these were the gifs, gifs or however you pronounce them. And in the best of them all, Bruce Teeth for even making the show. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe and make sure to stay strong.